so hey guys. Um, firstly, I thank you all for watching my videos, and maybe I'll start really producing videos on a more slightly regular basis, and of course only on requested stuff that you guys want to watch. So thank you all for watching my X Emitter and Exus video, and um, I also like to thank you all who have commented and that you guys have supported me on my um, Exus review and the things that happen after the review part. So, um, this is not going to be about Nerf, but I've just spent quite a bit of money on something that I've really always wanted. Um, I remember as, as a kid, um, before heading to school, afternoon session, you guys know in Singapore, I've always watched Iron Man on Kid Central. So, since young, my only superhero has always and only, so far, only has been Iron Man. So as you guys may already know, um, some of you guys may even collect Hot Toys, which are currently, I guess, are the, the, the best quality, best detailed um, Iron Man figure makers, um, collectible figures. So after years and years of different Iron Man movies or, or Iron Man appearing in different kind of movies, be it Avengers or the, their own line or even Captain America and whatsoever, um, I have collected Gundams, but I've always wanted an Iron Man figure just because of my childhood. So what I'm going to share with you guys today, as you guys can see maybe in the title later that I'm going to type on, will be an experience of my unboxing of what I just bought. Now if you guys can see, I just bought myself um, Hot Toys 1 quarter scale um, Mark 43. Now, if you guys know what is this, then this is not any simple hot toys or rather the normal hot toy size. This is the one quarter scale. And I'm going to share my unboxing experience with you. I'm really excited. This is my first Iron Man figure. Um, let me go angle my camera and I hope you guys can see the whole picture. Now of course this video is of course about this piece and not my face. So here goes. Now I have to admit I already opened this up at the shop just now um, to check the, the quality and stuff and um, the shop owner was really really kind to um, help me as a first time buyer to check out the quality of the iron figure. Um, yeah, so they are really helpful and they really kind of warn me what to check and what not to check or rather what I have to look out for when purchasing an Iron Man figure. So, let me check if you guys can really see this properly. Let me move this in. Now let's look at that. Woo, it's gorgeous. So, we're just going to pull this off. Oh, look at the size of that. I'm going to kick this aside. Uh, and here comes the figure itself. Now let me just put this side. I mean, not just the figure itself, but rather just the plastic packaging. Can you guys see? Yeah, let's move that back a little. And so, here goes the figure. Protection is out. Uh, let's clean it down. I'm going to put that aside. Oh my god, can, can you guys see this? This thing is oops, upside down. This thing is sexy as hell. Look at that. Now, um, let's try to get this open. How do I get this open? Do I see this off? I can't really remember how it is. Open this packaging for me. Yeah, I guess I'll just keep this up. Oh my god. Keep the side. And there you have it. Now we can see that this is actually elevated. Sponge. One quarter scale Iron Man figure. Now, here comes the unboxing part. I leave this and salesperson told me. Uh-huh, I guess I'll just push this up. And then 
and I'll put this aside. And there it is, the real box. Ah, can you guys see how beautiful this is? I'm so excited. This is only my first Iron Man figure. The moment of truth. Oh, look at that. Damn. Now I'm gonna. Okay, I, I'll tell you what, I'll just give a full view of how I open this up. Now, of course, we have Tony Stark's head over here that's really nicely sculpted. I'm not going to take that out because I'm more interested in the figure itself. Oh my god, please don't break. Please don't break. Please don't break. This guy is big. This guy is really big now. I'm, maybe you guys can see my torso. This guy is really huge. And now look at the details. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Oh my god. Now I'm just gonna put this aside and show you guys the other accessories. Comes with the figure. The instruction manual in which I have to read. And this. Oh my god, it's heavy. It's heavy. Why is it so heavy? Ah, okay, hold on my tape. No, it isn't. God, so beautiful now I have the base which I will be taking out right now these are collector's items so I don't even really want to damage the, the plastic so exacto knife cut tape really cleanly and I'm gonna take out the base oh look look at that now uh, these paddings are for Ultron City, I'm guessing. Or rather not Ultron, but just the normal um, bad robots. So the base, the other accessories. Okay, I'm gonna have my fun with these later. Um, I have here the gundets with the missile port opens. The the missile itself, a um, bunch of batteries for me to, to turn on Iron Man. Uh, um, those bad guys' head, now you guys can see, it's really big in my hand. Um, a single bad guy's arm. Um, the stand in which I will need. Uh, I'll take this out later. One pair of missiles that are inside not the fully open one fully articulated um fingers oh i have to do this i'm sorry i have to yeah i have to i'm, I'm sorry guys i have to do this when you have something that's fully articulated especially hands you just got to do this yeah i'm sorry so, and then of course we have the non-articulated repulsor hands open. So I'm going to put these together. Um, I've prepared, cleared my table for special space and then I'll give you guys a view later. So here I have it guys. It is now assembled. I know the lights are very glaring, especially the center arc reactor is very glaring. But I've already put it on the lower light settings. So here you go. 
um, I'm very very pleased with this kit. Um, as you can see, I have still not put on all the, the, the covers for the battery because of turning them off, I won't be leaving them on uh, 24 hours. Um, yeah, so I'm very very pleased. It is a beautiful beautiful model. Um, if you guys can see, it is huge. Yeah, so um, thank you all for watching. Take this as a little experience with me. It's my first Iron Man kit, and I think I posted it pretty well. Um, let Let's go up close so you guys can see. So. The weathering is pretty nicely done. See all these scratch marks. These are all done on purpose. And the arc reactor, the torso. He has the um, brake lights. Back here too, if you guys can see. Um, yeah, and stepping on one of those hits. So I think I got your pose pretty done nice. Oh yeah, that's supposed to be. Um, brakes back at the rear here but I can't I, I can't really show you guys that so anyway thanks for watching